in this tutorial we will create this bottle and screwdriver let's start with bottle this bottle we are going to make using loft command there is this square of 40 size and this circular section is of dia 20 and these are the height for the sections at first we will create this square of 40 dimension Take the rectangle command, give the first point, click on dimensions, give the length of 40, enter, and width of 40, enter, and click there. Then zoom all, Z enter, A enter. To shift this XY, give the UCS icon command, no origin. Then next is this circle of dia 20. Take the circle command, drag the midpoint and give the center point and give the radius of 10 then switch to 3d modeling click here and select 3d modeling then click here and select SA isometric click on this 2d wireframe and select shaded zoom minus we will have to make the copy of this sphere at a height of 60 take the copy command Select the object, enter, give the base point, make ortho on, give the direction, give the height of 60, enter, enter. Then next will be this circle. This circle is at a height of 90 and 130. Again take the copy, select the object, enter, give the base point, give the direction, give the height of 90, enter, and again give the height of 130, enter. Then enter. Then erase this circle, E, enter, select this circle, enter. Now these sections are copied at desired locations. Then convert this into a bottle. Click here and select locked command. Then select the cross section in lofting order. This square to be connected to this square. And this square to be connected to this circle. And this circle to be connected to this circle. Then press enter. Then click on this cross section only. Now we don't want this curvature. We want it to be straight. Click on the object. Then click here. And select ruled. And press escape. Now it became straight. The next requirement is the fillet of radius for you. At all the four corners. For that give the fillet command. Select the line, this vertical line, and give the radius of 5, enter, then select all the remaining lines. Then orbit it, and select lines on the other side also, and press enter. This fillet is applied, and next is this fillet of radius 15 here. Again select fillet. Select this circular portion, radius of 15, enter, then select all the other arcs, orbit it, and select from opposite side, enter, then zoom fit. Then next is, this bottle is hollow and thickness is 1 mm. To make it hollow, use the shell command from here, click on shell, select 3D solid, Select faces to remove this one. Enter. Give the cell offset distance of 1. Enter. Then escape. Here is the bottle is ready. Then click on new. Start new drawing. Then next is this screwdriver. Now parameters of this screwdriver are in inch. At first we will change the unit to inch. For that give the U N enter and from here select engineering and click on ok at first we will create this handle this handle can be created easily using revolve command at first we will have to create this profile the length of this line is 6.5 this is 0.75 this is also 0.75 at first click on this unsaved view take SI isometric give UCS icon command and click on no origin and take the line command 
then give the first point make ortho on give the direction give the distance of 0.75 then give direction again 0.75 again give direction on this side give your 6 point for you enter then again 0.75 from this line to center is 1.5 and from this point to this point is 0.75 that means this point to this point is 0.75 same way from center to up to this point will be 0.75 that means this total length will be 1.5 plus 0.75 1.5 plus 0.75 that is 2.25 and minus this 6.5 minus 6.5 that is 4.25 so the length of this line will be 4.25 create the line of 4.25 enter and then here we will have to apply radius of 0.75 take the fillet command click on radius give the radius of 0.75 enter then select first line select second line then next is to create this arc of radius 1. Now for this arc, here we have the start point, we have the end point and we have the radius. Therefore we will use start, end and radius option. Click here and select this start and radius. Give the start point, give the end point, give the radius of 1. Enter. This portion is ready. Now for revolve command, we will need it to be connected. For that click on this modify, click on join and connect all the portion, press enter. Now this is connected properly and click here and select revolve. Click on this object to revolve, enter. Then give axis start point, this one, axis end point, this one and give the angle of 360 degree. Then click on this wireframe, select shaded, make grid. Off. Then next is this rod. The length of this rod will be 7 minus this 2 that is for you and the diameter is 0.5. You. We will need to create one circle on this surface. For that we will change the plane. Click here and select the front plane. And take the circle command. Give the center point. Center point will be the center of this existing circle. And give the radius of 0.25. And press pull it, press pull, click inside, give the length of 5. Then escape. Then next is this portion. Now for this portion, there is this rectangle of 0.5 by 0.1. We will create that at first. Take the rectangle command, give the first point, click on dimension, give the length of 0.5 and width of 0.1. Then click there. Now this profile is created with a 0.1 offset to the tip. That means we will have to offset this profile by 0.1 outside. For that give the offset command. Give the offset distance of 0.1. Select this profile. Click outside. Enter. Then one more profile is required that is this circle of 0.5 diameter. Take the circle command. Then track the midpoints. Look at the center, then give the radius of 0.25. Now these profiles are at a gap of 1. Move them, click on move, select this profile, enter, give the base point, give the direction, give the distance of 1. Enter, select this circle, enter, give the base point, give the direction, distance of 2. Then this needs to be connected with loft command. Give the loft command from here, loft, select the profiles, then enter, click on this cross section only, then move this profile, click on move, select the object, enter, then base point will be the center of this circle and second point will be the center of this circle. We can connect all of them using union command, select solid union, select all the object and press enter. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.